Hello and welcome to Surprise We Both Love Movies. This week I have a special guest host. It's my daughter. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> my daughter Naomi will be joining me this week in Aaron's absence. And so the movie we're reviewing is A Quiet Place Part 2, which stars John Krasinski and his wife Emily Blunt. And also Killian Murphy from Peaky Blinders, if those of you who are fans of that show on Netflix. So we pick up right at the end of the first movie, A Quiet Place, which I thoroughly enjoyed and was a great time from beginning to end. And we pick up literally right after that last scene. And we start to see the wife gather with the daughter and the son and the baby, and they have to figure out what they're gonna do next. Through a series of flashbacks, we get to see what happened before the alien invasion occurred. And we get to meet a character that's kind of close to her husband and their family through these flashbacks. And then we find out that that's where they're going. She's gonna go out and try to find them and figure out what they're gonna do next. It's suspenseful from beginning to end. There was literally one of the best movie experiences. Like you have to go see this in the movie theaters. You don't wanna watch it at home unless you have 7.1 surround sound and <laughs> peace and quiet all around you. It's literally one of those pin drop movies. And if you've seen the first one, you know what I'm talking about. But literally, great movie. It holds, it, it holds up throughout. You watch it, you're entertained, and you're just glued to the screen. Naomi, what do you think about this movie? I really, really liked it. I thought it was entertaining from beginning to end. Um, yeah, that's, that's how I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite part? Like, what did you really um, enjoy? Did you, the acting, the music, the suspense? <laughs> what part, you know, was it how quiet the movie theater was? You remember when we were, we were right next to each other? We actually went to this movie together, and it was like you could hear a pin drop. I remember I had some snacks, and it was like... <laughs> was like, oh, uh, uh, you, right now? you know what this one is? What was your best part? What did you like the most? I actually really liked the beginning, which is kind of surprising because I always hate the beginning of movies because I usually think they're too slow. But all right, when they start the movie and it's right at the flashback where it's, <laughs> right fits for the aliens invade, I thought that was super interesting. Even though he was kind of just doing like everyday things, it was really cool to see like how realistic that was like your life changing and like in an instant you know like that's mm -hmm. crazy to watch so i thought that was really interesting i really like all of the actors in there they're all really great actors mm -hmm. and i was crying several times throughout the movie with the kids because the kids are just like it's i could never imagine putting myself in that position where i'm just a kid growing up and my life instantly changes like that like yeah, yeah. It was pretty intense. I mean, like at the beginning scenes, you see the flashback and John Krasinski is still alive. Spoiler alert, if you haven't already seen the first one and you're like, oh, good. You know, <laughs> it kind of makes you happy to see him again. You're like, because of how things, you know, kind of in the third act of the first movie, it was just so like, ugh, so ex emotionally exhausting watching how he's trying to protect his kids <laughs> and keep them alive. And so you get to see him again and he's alive again and they're, they're just reacting to everything happening. Like you see this fire in the sky and the next thing you know, they're like in survival mode and everyone around them is in survival mode. And that was just so intense. It was intense. And again, you know, every, the theater's quiet and everybody's, you know, like just glued to the screen. It was great. And uh, you get to see the characters develop a little bit more. Uh, obviously the girl yeah. in the movie, Miss Millicent Simmons, uh, she does a great job again. She really holds her own throughout this movie. It's hard for a young actor to carry a movie, but she does a great job. She's so compelling. Whenever I see her on the screen, it's just like, I'm just like mesmerized. I want to see what she, what she hears, <laughs> what she doesn't. And that's one of the unique things about this movie is that lots of times it goes from her perspective. So literally there's times where like she takes out her hearing aid and all audio is lost. Like the whole theater just goes quiet. And so that's why it can be... Out, all right? <laughs> because, because everyone knows what's going on but you're just you're just tense and you're waiting to see what happens next and obviously they have the little baby they're trying to figure out how to you know maneuver a new mom with her two other kids you know are trying to figure out how are they gonna keep this baby alive and keep this baby quiet at the same time and there's a really some really tense scenes later in the second act where you know there's some tough decisions that have to be made and it i thought it rounded towards the end, it got to a really good and interesting point, uh, a really uh, great climax to the story. Uh, but overall, you know, it was, it was tense from beginning to end and I, I, I really enjoyed it. What about you? 
I really liked it as well. Um, I was kind of surprised to find out that when it started and everything, that they were actually like a really small connected town. Because I feel like in the first movie, you don't really get that feel. You kind of get the feel that they're in the middle of nowhere, not really like more completely on their own, I would say, than a small town or like that they came from a bigger city and completely moved. You know what I mean? Like that's the impression I got on the first movie was that they'd probably been in a little bit bigger of a city and Mm -hmm. they got out. And oh, they okay. moved to that farm. So that's what I thought. So finding out in the second movie that they're in this really close knit like community, it seems like, and everyone kind of knows each other. And then watching your neighbor get smashed by an alien, you know, like I feel like that was a really cool concept that they put into the movie that I honestly didn't see coming from the first one. The more close knit community thing was definitely very entertaining for me. Yeah. I think so, at one point I whispered to you, I said, Oh wow, it's like a a 15 foot coronavirus with ears because <laughs> like and just going ravishing people so it was right. uh there was a part of it i remember when we saw when we saw the first one it was like oh that's kind of foreign you know like to know like you know you have to be huddled up in your house and then now we've gone through a pandemic and you go oh that, that's a little bit more relatable now right, right. <laughs> and maybe what that feels like a little bit not on the same level but it just it's, it's a little bit <laughs> more uh you, you get it you get it from right. a different point of view so mm. overall i would say the first movie i gave a nine a quiet place i would say that was a nine this movie very good not quite what it was because at first you already you know the first time you see the first movie you're introduced to this world so you already know that it's in this world so that with that it kind of lost a point for me because it was just something there wasn't necessarily anything original as far as you know the setting and the characters you already knew them so Mm -hmm. overall i gave it an eight as a movie and as a film it didn't really give you deep things to look at or anything to make you kind of question anything, but it was just, it was, it had heart. And so for that, uh, I would give it a six as a film. What do you think, Nomi? What was your, what was your rating? Uh, So for the first one, I really liked it. If you have point systems like 9.5, that's what I would have given it. All right. (laughs) For the second one, I would honest, I enjoyed it just as much as the first one but I would say probably just a nine it's not again that same point where it's not as new with the quietness that's like the craziest part about it right is like Mm -hmm. how quiet the movie is so I would still probably give it an 8.5 to a nine you know it it was still really good for me it held up really well to the first one Mm -hmm. um for a film uh it's not that deep of a movie you know what I mean I would still probably give it a seven just out of what movies I've seen as films you know Mm -hmm. I did really like all the family, you know, and stuff in there. It's really thought provoking for me to imagine my family in that situation. So for me, I would still say it's still a seven, you know, it's a pretty good film and a good movie. (laughs) Definitely, you know, visceral is what I'll say. It's so just, it hits you. You There's a time Mm -hmm. where like, I won't tell you what happens at the end, but there's a time where a little tear is just like, and it popped out <laughs> because it was so emotional. It's about right. family, and that at the end of the day, a movie's about family and in intense situations is it always gets your heart. So right. it was really good. Thank you, Naomi, for joining me. You guys were always out there at, on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify. You can listen and watch. Thank you guys for joining us this week. I'm Lamont Lovejoy. I'm Naomi Lovejoy. <laughs> right. And we'll see you guys next time.